Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over what I'm going to be doing in the Fansex Evolve Shift, the case that I just got a few days ago. I also got the ASUS ROG Strix Z270i Gaming Motherboard, only because I wanted to dial down the voltage on my 6700K just because I think it's way too hot and I kind of don't want to deal with it, but if it comes to that I might have to. Um, here's just a few things that I'm going to do inside of this case, including like a full custom loop in this tiny case. Now the Shift X is a little bit taller and that one's meant for water cooling. This one's more meant for more like, you know, closed liquid coolers um, and uh, hybrid graphics cards that already have that 120 millimeter radiator on it. Now I'm going to try to pair a 6700K with a 1080 Ti on a single 120 millimeter rad. Uh, hopefully in a push-pull configuration, we're, we're going to see how that's going to work. Um, I'm not really going to do a massive overclock on the 6700K. I'm also not going to do a overclock on the 1080 Ti. I'm just going to try to see how much I can get away with that, you know, 120 millimeter radiator. 100. Ugh. I'm going to try to see how much I can get out of that 120 millimeter radiator. Um, but I still have to order the A120. I practically have everything uh, with me except for just the kit and I also do have to order a few of the 90 degree angle fittings from EK and also that um, rotary terminal for the GPU block because um, space is very limited in this case and uh, I don't think anybody's done a full custom loop in this tiny case yet um, I'm pretty sure someone out there's or a few people out there are already doing it right now um, but I'm going to try to attempt it and see if it works, um, but yeah, uh, here's a little bit of overview of what I'm going to do. Alright, as you can see here, I'm doing a test fit with the A240G, but I'm just going to see if the kit fits. The reservoir top, it does interfere with the uh, motherboard tray a bit, um, so I'm going to install it sideways you have to install the reservoir first then the power supply for it to fit and once that's done there's enough room to unscrew the lid and then fill it and then there's enough room for a push-pull configuration done at the bottom so that's how that's gonna work alright this is the motherboard that I decided to go with it is a Z270 chipset and I do have a Skylake chip but they're you know compatible with each other so I don't have to worry about any issues. Um, I did update the motherboard BIOS uh, to this board as well. So as you can see in the packaging, you do get the motherboard uh, front and center. And then you do get a few other things in the box too, um, such as like, you know, standard things, your manual, um, Wi-Fi antenna, which for the ROG Strix, it is kind of big. Um, so I won't be using that. I might get like low profile antennas. Uh, you do get like your IO shield, M.2 screws, SATA cables, and some kind of um, coaster looking thing. I don't know what it was. Um, it's got a logo on the back you can scan with your phone or whatever. Um, it does come with the driver CD, which um, I don't recommend using because uh, it'll be outdated. So go to ASUS support and just download the drivers uh, from there. So yeah, so that's all that comes in the box. Um, you also get stickers too, but I don't know that many people that actually put stickers on their cases then nowadays. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just I'm going to just install the CPU, the RAM, and I did use an Intel stock cooler at first, but um, one of the legs was broken. I didn't notice it, and it wasn't making full contact with the CPU, so it was hitting about 90 degrees Celsius. I had to shut it down, and I decided to just install the Cryo Rig C7. Um, cooler on it so that kept it a little bit stable um, I did dial in a volt uh, an, I want to say overclock um, 4.1 gigahertz at 1.180 volts it did keep my temps down because the stock um, just if you left it stock at 4.1 gigahertz it would just go up to 1.325 volts and I'm, that's way too much for what I wanted to do I just wanted to keep the temps down <laughs> Now 
Now you do get an accessory box with the evolved ship, and I'm kind of glad that they did this with this case because normally you don't see this on the uh, lower uh, priced cases. Um, so you get all your screws, zip ties, and uh, a metal Fantex badge that you can put somewhere on your case if you want to. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and install this motherboard. So I'm just going to speed this stuff up real quick. Now, I will tell you this. The motherboard is a little bit tricky to get in um, just because it's a facing... Oh, it's a little bit cramped, I would say. you got to move that PCI Express ribbon over. And then you got to uh, move the... USB 3.0 connector cable because it's super thick and it's going to interfere with like the bottom part of your motherboard. So I recommend moving all that out of the way than just installing it like that. Alright, here's the back of the motherboard tray. You can fit a really big graphics card in here. I don't know if you've seen Kyle's video, he put that giant 1080 Ti in there. Um, you also get access to the motherboard tray from behind too without the graphics card installed. But um, yeah, that's basically going to do it for this part of the video, like part one. Um, part two is where I do the water cooling stuff, so hopefully that all goes well and I just got to get the angle adapters from EK. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did like this video. Um, otherwise, you know what to do. Um, but yeah, so my schedule is going to be pretty busy. I don't know when I'm going to get that A120 kit in. Also, I will be attending TwitchCon 2017. It's like October 20th through the 22nd. Um, I won some tickets for that, so that's kind of cool. Um, the other, That's like the second thing that I've won this year. The first thing that I won this year was the 6700K from Intel's Game On Challenge. So um yeah i won these tickets from intel as well so see how that goes i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching